Good afternoon, YouTube ice workers. <clears throat> Hope everybody's having a good day. Getting warm a little bit today. Feels like a little more humidity creeped in. And 78 degrees, so it feels a little warmer than that. I sweat very easily anyway, but... <clears throat> Doesn't feel as nice as it did the beginning of the week, but I guess I can't complain compared to the folks in Florida that has a hurricane heading their way. So I guess I should just shut up. But uh, at any rate, uh, anybody that's following the Kane Rod Piper's uh, Faith Talk Fridays, uh, a lot of people did VRs. And a lot of people, interesting enough, did a video for the first time, which was nice to see. Uh, hopefully, it'll spark them to continue to do videos. Um, but you know, you know what I got out of it so far? Whatever your belief system is, just treat people the way you want to be treated. Try to live your life as cleanly and as pleasantly as possible. Always try to be your best and do good towards your fellow man. And I think from that, good things will follow. You know, I guess they say they should never talk about politics and religion usually because it ends up in a heated type of argument because there is no absolute this way or no way you know it's there's many variables many beliefs um, but I say just try to be kind live an honest life best you can and it doesn't really matter what your beliefs are if you live by those standards then we all get along and everyone's happy you know you get the real evil people that blow things up and kill people, and you'd have to assume that belief system is short-circuited. tough subject because there's really no proof, physical proof that there's a higher being. We can only assume and have faith as they say that there is something better. Regardless, like I said, in the end, it really doesn't matter as long as you're a good person and uh, live a good, honest life and do the best you can. I, I, that's the message as a whole I get out of the different responses. And I think it's a common ground that we all share. Anyway, long weekend. Got a lot of things to do around the house. Closing the pool is one of them. I can't believe it's that time already. 
And now you got to tune up the boiler, get oil, and prepare for winter. Hard to believe. Where did the time go? Stores have some Christmas stuff out already. Halloween stuff is out. Here's an interesting story. So I go to Lowe's the other day, and I have to change the toilet bowl, you know, downstairs bathroom. And this all come about. I changed the toilet at the shop, and we changed the, the bowl in the upstairs bathroom. And I discovered these extended height bowls. Let me tell you something. If any of you have to change your bowl, look into an extended height bowl. It'll change your life. Much more comfortable than the standard uh, height bowls. And the older you get, you'll really appreciate the extended height bowls. They're not much more money than a standard bowl. So anyway, being it's a downstairs, uh, bathroom hardly used. I didn't want to spend and get a high-end bowl, so I looked at Lowe's and they had a bowl on sale, $119, extended height. So I go there to pick it up and I take the cart and I go down to the shelf. There it is, $119. There's three of them. Load up the cart, stop and get the gasket and other stuff I'm going to need to do the job. Go up to the register, and now the fun begins. First of all, this particular Lowe's, there's only one register open. The others, they might as well take them away. There's nobody ever there. And of course, there's a line. So my turn comes, check out, the bowl rings up 169. Okay, here we go. So the girl calls for somebody, nobody comes. So the girl says, can you go back and take a picture of the sign? Okay, so it's all the way back in store. I go back, take a picture of the sign, take a picture of the bowl I took that's missing from the slot of three. There's two more identical bowls there come back, she says, that's not the bowl. It's one number off. The skew number, the bowl on sale ends in one, the bowls on display ends in zero, even though the sign is right there. There's no other bowls in that area. You cannot mistake picking the wrong bowl because they're there. I said, well, something's wrong. I said, because Oh, somebody stocked it wrong. I said, but there's three, there's two more bowls left. They're the same bowls, signs there. Doesn't matter, the number's off, it's 169. I says, no. I says, get a manager. Of course, it takes about 10 minutes to get the manager. I says, I want this bowl for $119. I says, either you're trying to scam the people because the display has the three bowls with the price clearly marked for that display, $119. I want it for $119. Plus, I had to do legwork, go back and take a picture of the sign, which is ridiculous. I said, I'm the customer. I don't work here. Why do I have to do your legwork? So the manager says, all right, give it to him. 
I mean, why do you have to go through this? And then they say retail suffering. Well, this is the reason. I go in this Lowe's a lot because I pick up a lot of different things. I do a lot of different, I need stuff around the shop or whatever. And it's the same story all the time. You cannot get help. The, the store might as well be run by robots because it's understaffed. This is why online is doing better because you don't have to interact. You get the price for as described and there's no trickery or attitudes or nothing. This is why retail's in trouble. So that you think you leave Lowe's with a, a happy feeling? You, you leave with your blood pressure raised because it's a simple purchase that you should be happy about. You have to end up in an argument to get something that should be very simple. And this is not the first time it happened. A friend of mine takes, a, actually my, bro, my brother's son, my nephew, takes a flyer, just came out Sunday of a vanity. It's on the front page of the flyer. Goes to Lowe's, I want this vanity. Oh, that vanity's discontinued. What do you mean discontinued? The flyer just came out today in the Sunday paper. Can you believe this? The other issue is with these stores, it's not only Lowe's, many stores you go online, Best Buy, Home Depot, they tell you what store has how many. Well, this happened to me about a year or two ago. I wanted the Weber kettle grill. I wanted it in copper. They have one that's in a nice copper color. I check online, all the stores show they don't have the copper, they have the black. So I end up buying the black one at Home Depot. I settled, I should have waited, but uh, I have a problem with waiting when I decide I want something, I want it today. So I pick up the black one, I put it together. No difference between it except for the color. Two days later, I go to Lowe's. Now remember, I checked Lowe's online and they showed none. I go to Lowe's and what's there? All they have is the copper ones. <laughs> I don't understand. Why is nobody updating these systems? So how many people check online and don't see it and don't buy it and they go somewhere else to get it. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. So they put these systems in place but they don't maintain them, obviously. Anyway, that's my rant for today. Have a good weekend. If you're in the Florida area, stay safe. I hope the storm's not as bad as they're predicting. But uh, be well, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.